Hello everybody, this is Zishan and you are watching me on ZTech Media as always. Alright, so today we are going to talk about another interesting topic. And today's topic is about three S's. Right, this is not what you're trying to guess. This is exactly technology related three S. Simple Storage Service. This is the name. In short form, we call it S3. This is the name which made Amazon AWS. Because of this product, Amazon AWS services and all the other services of Amazon became famous. So look out for more from us in this video on S3. To begin with, let me just discuss a little story about Amazon's cloud computing. By the year 2005 or 2006, nobody actually knew the term cloud computing. So in 2006, what Amazon does is it launched two amazing services. These amazing services were renting the computers on rent per hour basis and also renting the storage on hour basis. And these two services, renting of computing or computers and storage services became what we call it today cloud computing. Since its evolution in 2006 from computer rentals and storage services rentals, AWS has emerged. We, they still do the renting of computers and storage services, but they have added on 70 more services to its platform, what we call it today, Amazon Web Services. And one of the biggest services they offer, or they has to offer in their cloud computing, is Storage S3. So we are going to talk more about S3 today, but before that, let me just tell you the kind of services AWS offer are networking services, database services, and also mobile technology related services. More for you coming up. So just now we discussed that in by the year 2006, nobody knew what is cloud computing. So what we used to call this particular technology or something like this at that time, so there was a name given to this technology at that time known as grid computing. And you can draw a direct straight line from that grid computing till today, what we call it or what known as cloud computing. Surprisingly, with its growth, AWS has had a ripple effect. Like but if we drop a little stone in the water, it starts creating waves around itself. So that's known as ripple effect. And it by this ripple effect, Amazon was able to squeeze technology giants such as IBM, EMC, and many other big technologies companies with its growth. Now, cloud computing supports platforms such as Internet of Things, what we call it IoT, and also machine learning technology, which makes everyday objects smart. And the machine learning and IoT has made the objects to learn how to think by themselves, what we also call artificial intelligence. With its growing volumes, AWS has more than 1 million active customers and they have 2,000 government agencies and 5,000 schools and 17,500 non-profits. And if I talk about government agencies, Department of Defense is one of their biggest customers. And if I talk about schools, most of the K-12 schools in USA are on Amazon's AWS. So since it's emerged, or since the AWS growth, Amazon has managed to shut down many companies' data centers. In other way, you can say more than two dozen companies have closed their data centers and now they are totally reliable for its computing services on AWS. I can name a couple of companies which were huge and giant and their data centers were also very huge, but they have shut down companies such as Intuit, American Online, Netflix, these are the firms who now totally rely on AWS and AWS S3. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about Amazon S3. So Simple Storage Service is the foundation product of Amazon's AWS. When Amazon was launching back in 2006 and once it saw the growth, they have introduced this service in their all those 70 or more than 70 plus services today they have called Amazon's S3. And S3 is considered as bedrock product of all the services Amazon has to offer in cloud computing. Now, 
Because of Amazon's S3, the kind of reliability, redundancy, and efficiency it provides, a lot of web applications of today's generation will not be able to run, including Amazon.com. So with this, I can just tell you the importance of S3 in the information technology world, or anybody who has cloud computing services. And the way S3 stores the data is on object storage model. We'll talk more about object store model. All right, so to continue with our lecture today, uh, I would like to let you know that uh, when in earlier days, we used to have storage stored in HPSS, which is hierarchical block storage system. Unlike HPSS, the S3 uses independent blocks, or rather you can say buckets, and you can have full control of those buckets within your storage limitations. So let's discuss a couple of advantages of using independent block storage or bucket system storage. Uh, you can have high latency, you can have redundancy, and it's very high speed when you're trying to retrieve or upload any storage. So when we are trying to store data in S3, what happens is the data is stored in buckets. So let's say a minimum, uh, the smallest size of a bucket can be 5 terabyte and if uh, you want more data to be stored then you have the maximum of petabytes which is more than the terabytes. So uh, you have a very high storage capacity and these buckets are distributed in 16 to 17 physical regions of Amazon's AWS. And one important thing about these buckets is that you can have full control of your bucket and it is available 24 7 uh, and you know you have unrestricted access and it is at a very low cost so that's these are the advantages of using s3 so guys if you like today's content uh, once again i would like to let you know please like the video share the video and subscribe to our channel which is ztech media and i have a short video on s3 for you guys and uh, i hope you understand uh, everything about S3. If not, you can leave comments so that I can reply back or make a short video or another video on um, the doubts you have on S3. Thank you for watching, guys. This is Z again from Z Tech Media.